Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a weekly favorites by week and a day. Sorry about that. Obviously, because of the holidays and stuff. And it still is the holidays, I guess. It doesn't really feel like it until it gets dark and the lights come on. It's kind of like Halloween now, I think of it. Some weekly faves, and if you are new, if you are old, then like you know, monthly favorites is easy, but yearly favorites it's hard work. You know, I have so many favorites I want to do. Uh, I do have a few book favorites. Okay, I'm going to do this one first because it's pretty heavy. This is Rachel Ray's new book. I've watched Rachel pretty much every day for, I don't know, since... I pretty much will watch her on anything that she's on. Cooking Channel, Food Network, Travel Channel, her own show, everything. She's awesome. She does get a little excited about everything, but... Which, I must say, does get a little bit annoying, but... It's good to see positive people in the world these days. The next is a brush, and my teacher last year when I was in Texas gave this to me. It's like pink and blue, and... I usually do... I need to apply this to Fix Plus, and I do have that. That's pretty awesome stuff, obviously. If anybody's ever used Fix Plus, you should use Fix Plus. The next thing is the Brow Boss by ColourPop. And I just got a, new, got a new one. Please check out my haul from yesterday. There's some awesome stuff that I bought at Ulta. This is a war blood. This actually works better for my eyebrows. Last time I went to Ulta, yeah, you only had one, and I never seemed to get the right color, so I bought two. I mean, it's like five bucks. Got to pop this down to sale, so I don't know how to buy some stuff. The next thing was a lippy, lippy Sticks by Colourpop. I used this, like, it's been at least five years or so, because I can't remember. But it's in the color... Um, I have I heart this and uh, trust me. They're both red, but one's more like leans toward the pinky side. I tend to use that with the lipstick I have on, which is from Mac, and it's from the holiday collection, and it's Walk of Flame. My mom found me one, so I'm so happy because. Apparently, Ulta did not have my have it. They don't seem to carry it, and I'm gonna have to call a Mac store, the one in Chicago, and see if they have it, and ask them if they can order, send me a couple. And then over that, then I put the lip gloss by Mac from the Holiday Collection, and I can never remember the name of this play color for some reason. Oh yeah, Star Memoir. It takes me, like, a minute. I'm watching Fantastic Beasts, too, by the way. And yeah, I got lighting. It's good in this room. It looks like this. And it's my nails. It's kind of funny, because my friend yesterday, I got a package in the mail from her. And now she, she's from Mississippi, but now lives in Florida. And she got me a lip gloss that looks exactly like this. And I'm like, so that it's by... Uh, bare Minerals and that Mac. <clears throat> and it's somewhere around there. There's one here it is. I think, yeah, this is it. Look. Except it's, this one's minty. It doesn't have any sparkle in it. I mean, it's kind of ironic that I have... I should try to... 
next time I talk to her. I mean, I haven't talked to her in, it's been at least six months. And I talked to her on Messenger, but, you know, she's busy all day with, I don't know. She just moved there in Florida, to Florida in February, you know, September. The next fave is the Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker. And guess what they were having a sale on? I sold the, not this one, but the new one I bought. Tastes just like Dr. Pepper. Of course, it makes me want Dr. Pepper more. The next one I just bought this is, this is from the Mac Aladdin collection, which came out with a movie a few months ago. Not a few months ago, when was it? When did it come out? The summer? It was like springtime, I think. That's a great movie. I mean, I, of course, I love the original. I mean, Robin Williams was, was brilliant and still is. And, you know, I mean, I'm hesitant to see it because, you know, people were saying, you know, it's not Robin. I mean, you can't beat him. I mean, he came up with that stuff by himself. This is a pigment, of course, and they had this in, the, like, not on the shelf, like, shelves below, and, like, why didn't anybody buy this? It's a beautiful color. And my friend also got me Bare Minerals, uh, Mineral Veil. That stuff is everywhere. I like this pigment will be in a minute if it tips over a bit. This is what the Latin pigment looks like. It's like, I tend to apply it with my finger because, again, or fix plus to make it last for, yeah, that's about right. <sighs> yeah, this is what it looks like. I don't know, hyper people applying it with their middle finger and then holding it up. I mean, this is the lippy stick right here. This is, this is the one in, trust me. This is the red one. The other one, like I said, is kind of pink. But I'm just glad that this matches the lipstick. It doesn't look. I like how they when they put the lips, the color on the lipstick. As long as it actually looks like it. Okay. The next book is. I'm not gonna hold it up because it also is humongous, but it's obviously the fourth Harry Potter illustrated edition. I think if somebody knew I love Harry Potter and it's going to take a few more years to get the other books to come out but you know, when I heard it was coming out I, so I had to wait months for it and then of course my mom ordered it for my nephew for Christmas because that was his birthday one of those his birthday was in October and when I opened it I'm thinking that I'm like oh shoot I already ordered this or bought it yeah I bought it and then she bought him one so did she so it's all good I'm hoping that he's enjoying it hopefully we get and I also got him Fantastic Beasts the book I mean I I hope that his dad my ex-brother-in-law will get him the rest of the series because <laughs> I'm watching Fantastic Beasts 2 right now the next two things are my latest palettes. I'm going to, at the beginning of the year, I'm going to donate my other palettes to a local place. You know, Parting is such sweet sorrow, but at the same time, I'm, I don't know, I just wanted something new. You know? Plus, these ones have, are by, both by ColourPop, and they have sparkles in it. I mean, look. I mean, I was, like... Which one should I get? Because ones that, they, that I really want, they don't have a size online. And they're shipping. ColourPop needs to update their shipping. Because their shipping takes forever. I mean, it takes at least a week to get you a message back saying that it's been shipped. And and then it's like another week of shipping it. So, I mean, that's way too long. I hope in the spring that they'll... At least those ones to the store, they're trying to go to the one in Chicago and see if I'm sure they'll have those ones there. Plus the palette that I saw last year that I didn't get from, um, 
Morphe, I think it was. Anyway, this is the other one. I mean, look at these sparkly colors. Now, a lot of people are saying that the sparkles aren't good for your eyes, which I don't believe that, actually. I think that it's fine on my eyes. I'm not allergic to that, like other things. The other thing is, I forgot my wallet yesterday, so my mom had a computer. I was like, you know, digging around my purse and it's like, oh no, shoot, I forgot it again. The next thing is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. I actually had a couple of them to use up, so I used up the last bit, threw that away, threw another one away. At that point, I was like, I don't think that's ever happened before. It was, and like I said, the Dr. Pepper one, I, it was two bucks at Ulta for that set. So I got one for my best friend whose birthday is January 1st. So I'm sure she's like slathering it on right now on her lips. I mean, I'm like, her best friend. She doesn't wear too much makeup, and just a little eyeshadow and mascara, maybe. But does anybody think I don't need more mascara? Because I feel like I do. This eyeshadow is in those palettes, by the way, and they're those are different colors. I need to figure out what I'm gonna have for dinner. Yeah. I had lunch yesterday at McDonald's and I got two things, one for lunch and one for dinner. So that way I don't have to yeah. lunch today and nachos. Yeah, yesterday I had a sausage and a muffin and then I had dinner I had a cheeseburger. I need about maybe stock up on those next time at McDonald's. Does anybody know also why McDonald's lines are so long? I mean, they have two lanes, and it's about Disney World's lines for anything. It's crazy. Um, let's see. I'm not doing a yearly favorites yet, but the most of these things mentioned will probably be in the, the favorites. Um, let's see. Next is Ranch from McDonald's. And I got stuff on it. Yeah, I know it's kind of a weird thing to show in a video, but I love Ranch. I... My next favorite condiment is not in the video, but I'm going to mention it and we know I know what people will be like. Is she seriously kidding me? Is peanut sauce. And I put a peanut sauce on everything now. It's like ketchup or mayo or something. I don't want people to put mayonnaise on a burger. That is disgusting. Like I got disgusting from Walmart stars. Yum. I like peanut sauce. Peanuts are pretty dang good too. Seriously. Sometimes I put peanut sauce on peanuts. I also put them on cheese curds as well. Yum. I don't have any cheese curds, but we were heavy yesterday. We should have got some food. There's a Starbucks in there and stuff. The next is this purse. I got this out of IMR. Yes, I know. I need to paint my nails. It's kind of fun. I got one mall, and then I went to the other Ronmar and the other mall. And it was at the mall. I went to that mall, too. Should we get this one and not the other one? Unless you like that one. I don't know what that one. My mom ordered a 
Sometimes I get pink drink. It just depends on which Starbucks I'm at. I'm like, yeah, Barnes and Noble and I got pink drink last time. Next are my Beats. I've had these for a few months. I go through headphones like that. Seriously, I want um, AirPods. My mom got them for my younger niece, who's 15 now, and she didn't get me them. Not fair. Oh, yeah. My next favorite book is by Andrew Ridgely, who was in Wham! with the late George Michael. He wrote a book about it. My next clothing favorite, I need to do a What's in My Closet. My next favorite is. Besides this Lindsay Sterling hat and my Lindsay Sterling shirts, is the sweatshirt I'm wearing. It's Johnny Depp and his crybaby. I'm happen to be watching him in Fantastic Beasts 2 right now, so. Um, and that book is pretty good. I like the pictures in it. Um, his buds were. His, they were in school together. You know, and George has been gone for. He died on Christmas three years ago. It's kind of ironic that rather his sister just passed away on Christmas. The next is a lip balm, and it's by Kiehl's. And there's one by Philosophy. That's actually a moisturizer, not a lip balm, but I need to get some of that. I need to slather myself in things. Mmm. Mmm. Her lips are like so chapped with all the lipstick I wear on it. Especially when I wear Ruby Woo, that stuff is like the most drying lipstick ever on the planet. I don't know why they don't put any moisture in it. I'm like, I'm not gonna put like moisturizer on my lips, that's for sure. I don't want my lips to burn or something, you know. basically my favorites of the week so far <laughs> I don't want to start doing the yearly favorites because most of the stuff is going to be in there anyway and that's I might do that Tuesday morning which is New Year's Eve so we're watching all like best of the year stuff you know and then it'll be weird the next morning I wake up and it'll be Wednesday January 1st I'm like Feels crazy. Plus, that's my best friend's birthday too, so I have to. I'm always happy birthday, happy new year, all that stuff, and I sent her a bunch of, including those lip balms. I wish for the Dr. Pepper lip balm. Like I said, it's the one I sent her. I wish they just have Dr. Pepper and not root beer and uh, Seven Up. I tasted Seven Up for the. First time recently, and it's okay. It's like Sierra Mist and Sprite, which, by the way, oh my God, this, both of those have so much sugar in it. I prefer Fresca, actually. It tastes more refreshing. That's what I have when we go on airplanes, unless they happen to have Dr. Pepper on airplanes. I think that's American, where they have Dr. Pepper. And Delta has Fresca. All right. I will be doing a what I'm taking on the cruise. That's three weeks, so I'll be doing that in two weeks. What I'm taking on the cruise, both my carry-on and my purse, since you can only travel with that stuff. I got a new suitcase, so you know I'll be putting that under the plane and stuff. You know, probably what I'm gonna take, you know. Maybe I'll do what I'm taking with me for my suitcase. I have like a drawer of like three t-shirts and and a couple of other, I need a few more of those shirts for 
you know, then you buy stuff on the cruise, so, you know, that's what happens. <laughs> I did, I do have Christmas money, stuff that I left here yesterday, plus some other money, so I'm going to try to save some of that for the cruise, but I mean, I do want to get a few things for the cruise, for the cruise, around the cruise. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see everybody in my next video, and I don't know what... Yeah, I'll probably do the favorite clothes video tomorrow. So, enjoy the evening, everybody. I mean, it's almost 5 o'clock already, man. Why does the day always go by too fast? And it's dark like that and cold like that. And nothing else like that. It's crazy. I mean, like, my Starbucks are... They didn't put a lot of water in like they usually do at Starbucks. Like, they're asking me if I wanted ice, even though I told them I don't want ice. I'm like, I don't. Like, I don't want ice. Oh, geez. Like, it's not July, okay? I don't want ice. It's not like Peter reviews stuff. <laughs> Videos are funny. This world needs that right now, seriously. No, I'll look for good 7 2020. I need to do like a year in review or something. I mean, I've seen like, you know, like, what people do want to do it to achieve things in 2020. In a few days from now it'll be a new year and a new decade and all that stuff. I mean, people felt that way when it was 2000. You know, like... I think it's been the end of 99, 2000. It was like the cracks were waiting to form with, you know, like thinking that the world was going to end and same with 20. 2012 as well, and then I feel like 9-11 happened and it shattered everything into pieces on top of all the other stuff that happened for the next decade until it was back together, like the Manhattan skyline. <clears throat> Again, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see everybody in my next video. I'm going to film the video now, but it's getting dark and I won't have much light. I need a bigger closet, seriously. Mine is way too small and way too dark and all that stuff. Yeah, my, um, horoscope says, the next month's many tears will roll down your cheeks. There will be tears of pure joy. Something waiting for Shane Fire finally come true for you. January will be a turning point in your life. And I've heard that in a lot of places lately. I'm like, yeah. I want everybody to have a better 2020. I'll see everybody in my next video. Have a great weekend, everybody.